Hi, I just got off the uh, air watching the Quirky uh, group go over the Wee Woody, Half, uh, Wee Woody Rembrandt Press, and boy was that fun. Uh, I didn't get in, as you might say. They didn't adopt the idea, so they won't develop it themselves. And I'm kind of glad, to be honest with you. I particularly liked the kid at the end. He seemed to be the only one in the whole room that understood what the Wee Woody Rembrandt Press is all about. And he said, I would take it apart and put it back together. And then he said something about becoming an old master. That was the idea. Thanks for watching and uh, enjoy it. The Wee Woody? <laughs> the do-it-yourself Wee Woody Rembrandt Press assembles easily with a screwdriver. And when it's finished, you have a working press. It comes with a ready-cut woodblock plate. You ink up, place on the bed, put paper over the plate, put a pusher over the paper, and turn it through. When it's finished, you have a print. An optional item is the Rembrandt's Ghost, a bash memory stick. Fit in the crown of the press that gives you more lessons about printmaking. Um, and the ability for them to oh, make some oh, others. However, I really see an application to this for the crafting market. I am obsessed with making my own stationery and my own invitations to things. And I Our resident crafting expert, Crafty Kate Valen. Um, I think that we we went into the uh, custom stamp market yeah, already. Yeah, that thing was awesome. And it was very cool. Yeah. Picked it. Yeah. Really cool. Um, but it there's really it takes time to carve out a stamp, and there's not like you need know, a laser cutter or you need you need to sit there and carve it. So I just see this being a very difficult way of stamping something. I'm not sure. Okay, let's go uh, right here next to Sully. Uh, my problem with this is that most prints that are made today are carved on linoleum, and so wood wood prints are kind of antiquated. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Do you do this? Do you do this? Um, I haven't, but you've heard people, about people who have a lot of like students, hobbyists that do print do it on the All right. Go ahead. Oh, um, I've done stuff with um, using rubber to cut out stamps, um, and it's kind of it's it's costly and it's time consuming. If this would be an easier solution for that, um, is it, do you I think it would be easier to carve wood than rubber? No, I think that there's an easier way to do this. Um, I'm seeing us tweaking this slightly from the prototype that's there. All right, quickly down the panel, Kim. Kind of a fun throwback, crafty idea, and I think there should be different um, mediums for. Yeah. Jenna. Wee Woody is a stupid name, but <laughs> you like it. Steve, you know I'm the technology guy, so I feel totally unqualified to answer this one. Good. But we, you know, if we let us design it, we probably come up with a That's cool. No, so, I, I just don't think there's any market for this. I would be after seeing this, I'm more interested in a different invention to make the wood cutouts because I could see how long that would take. But I, I don't see anyone making anything. Damn. Uh, see, I, I love the name, but don't really like the product. We would. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go over here, uh, Anna. I think it's more intrigued. This is definitely a retro craft item. But a couple of questions. Where's the market? It's probably pretty niche. Art presses are available. Why? What makes this very special? How long would it take you to make them? And I think Brenda Cole brings up a good point. Is this really an invention? Is it really it's an a invention? Retro craft. So printmaking has been around for a really long time. We did it in college, and it's super hard to carve wood, super hard to cut, carve linoleum especially. But I don't see this being a Some kid's toy. Linoleum. 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 It's not. It's Linoleum. definitely not a kid's toy because those tools are super sharp and not something that's. Go to PJ Shaw. Um. So, really, all I would do with this is take it apart and put it back together. I'm in. Uh, 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 I think we should leave this to the old master. <laughs> 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 Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Okay, uh, this is Frank Grosso's.